Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 955 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the Garmin Connect application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now let's make sure that the required permissions are enabled for the Garmin Connect application to send the notifications to our watch. So, open the app menu on your phone, find the Garmin Connect application icon on it, or in it rather, and then press and hold, the, uh, hold on the icon to open this menu. Once this menu opens, tap on app info, and here tap on permissions. Now, we need to allow certain permissions. For example, we need to allow the SMS, phone, uh, call logs, calendar, and the contacts. To allow the permissions, you need to scroll down, check the not allowed list, find the permission you want to allow, tap on it, tap on allow, and then go back, and it's gonna appear on this list right here. So, repeat it for every permission you're missing. So, I'll allow it for SMS, phone, contacts, call logs, and calendar. Once you're done, you can close this menu. Now, let's open the settings on our phone. <coughs> In settings, let's scroll down and find the notification access. Um, this is the Android 12, so it's kind of different than previous versions of Android. On the previous versions of Android, if you have one, tap on search and type in a notification access. Uh, and this should display you option called notification access. You can tap on it to go there. But on Android 12, for some reason, it doesn't find it. We need to do it manually. So we need to go back to settings, scroll down, find the option called notifications, tap on it, then scroll down, find the option called device and app notifications. And here we have the list of, of, of device and app notifications. And basically we have allowed list and not allowed. By default, uh, maybe not by default, but sometimes your connect app will be on the not allowed list. It needs to be on allowed list to send the notifications to your watch. So find the connect if it's on the not allowed list, tap on it and make sure this switch is enabled. Allow notification access. You need to flick it on and then tap on allow. And once this is allowed and the connect is on the allowed list, we can close the settings and open the Garmin Connect application. So let's open the Garmin Connect application. In the app, we can tap on the menu, scroll down, tap on Garmin devices, select the 4 runner 955, and here, scroll down, find the option called notifications and alerts, tap on it, and then tap on smart notifications. And right here we can customize some settings for the notifications. For example, we have during activity and general use. This is basically two categories um, or two states in which your watch is usually. During activity mean, means that you're recording the activity on your watch, like running, cycling and stuff like that. And you can customize the notifications, uh, notification settings for that time when you're tracking the activity. And general use is when you're doing anything else besides tracking an activity, basically. Okay, so let's tap on during activity. And here we can enable or disable the notifications for the activity. We can also tap on calls, so specific type of uh, notification, and we can enable them or disable them. We can enable sound for them or disable the sound, and we can enable or disable the vibration. So customize it to your, li er, to your liking, then tap on texts, do the same, and the apps also the same. So once you're done customizing uh, during activity, we can go back, tap on general use, and here we can also enable or disable the notifications, customize the types of notifications, so calls, we can enable or disable the um, notifications, disable or enable the sound or vibration, same for texts, same for apps, and below we have privacy. Here you can tap and select press start or gesture. I believe uh, this if you select press start, it will require you to press the start button to see the notifications, basically. And same for the gesture, you will need to perform the gesture to see the notifications. 
And the last option is timeout. This option basically, here you can set for how long the notification stays on the screen before it disappears. And you have short, medium and long. Select the duration you like. And once you're done customizing the settings for your uh, notifications, you should be able to receive them. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. And as you can see, we got it on our phone and also on our watch. If you miss notifications by any chance on your watch, you can go to the home screen, the current watch face, press the up button, scroll through the list of glances, find the notification one, select it, then press the start menu, or start button rather, to open the menu. And here we have the list of notifications we missed. And we can select one, press the start button to read it, we can then press a, a, a button to clear it and stuff like that. And then we can press the back button to go back to watch face. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.